Hello, welcome back. This is a measurement video on the volume of a sphere. Let's have a check out how we find the volume of a sphere. So the volume of a sphere... There's a sphere there. We have a radius involved in a sphere that goes from the very center of the ball right to the, the edge, any point on the edge. Um, yep, so that's, we've got a radius there. Now the formula for the volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 or 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. Alright, so there's only one spot where we put a number there and that's where the radius is. The other one is on our calculator, pi, and we multiply it by 4 over 3 using our fraction button and that finds our volume quite nicely. So we're just following that formula there. Um, when any, any time you've got a formula question, you've got you write the formula on one line, and then the next line down you look to substitute in the actual measurements or numbers from the question itself, and we're uh, almost done then. So here is a an example. You notice the radius here has switched from being an r to eight centimeters, and that's going to be substituted in instead of the r in our uh, formula. So straight underneath we've got four over three multiplied by pi on our calculator, multiplied by 8 cubed. Alright, 2,144.7 oh, centimeters cubed, and that's rounded off to one decimal place there. Notice that we started off with centimeters as our units, and because we're cubing that, and because we're finding a volume, volume has cubic units, so don't forget to have a little three up the top of the units there, cubic units. So that's the volume of a sphere, that's a full sphere, and uh, one variation is that they don't, uh, they don't give you the radius, which is very unhelpful really. <laughs> Here they've given us a d uh, the distance across the full length of the sphere through the center, so that would be called the diameter of the sphere, I guess. And we would need to, instead of putting in 2.4 centimeters, we would need to halve that and get a radius of 1.2 centimeters and put that in for our value for the R. So don't get tricked there. And when you haven't been given a radius, you can find it by halving that amount and uh, put that in uh, in the proper spot. So if we process that, we get 7.24 centimeters cubed. Once again, we've got cubic units there, and we've rounded that off to two decimal places. So be careful of that. Don't put a diameter value in where there's a radius. You can halve that diameter value to find the radius and then substitute the uh, correct value in for the radius. All right, so that's th those were um, examples where we had a full sphere. Let's have a look at one where we've got a hemisphere. Now, a hemisphere is exactly half a sphere. So it's almost like we've chopped that ball straight across the middle, going straight through the center. You'll notice we've got a radius of that hemisphere there still. So we're going to pretend it's a full sphere, work out the volume of a full sphere, and then we're just going to halve it at the end. Makes sense. So there's our volume formula for a full sphere. We're going to put 3.6 in instead of the R and let our calculator do the work for that. We get a final value and we've, it's very uh, a good habit to get into to at least keep track of lots of decimal places because if you then use that um, full version for your later calculations, if you're going to use that number again, it's best to be uh, nice and accurate, uh, taking into account all of the decimal places there. So that's the full version of the volume, if it was a full sphere, but we're going to take that, so that's a full sphere answer. We don't have a full sphere, we have a half a sphere. So the volume of our hemisphere is, is that full sphere value divided by 2, so just chop that in half to account for the fact that we're finding a hemisphere here, and we get a final answer of 97.72 centimeters cubed. Once again, we have cubic units, and uh, so... Pretend it's a full sphere, use the normal calculation for a full sphere, then divide by 2, and then you'll get the volume of uh, the half sphere or the hemisphere, we say. Alrighty, so that's uh, the volume of a sphere and a hemisphere. Hope that helps. PeterBlakeMaths.com Catch you next time.